speaking, and his wife came over to say hi. Uh, can you come up? Oh, yeah. That's not good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not looking at I'm sorry. Um, his light will flash if you call him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, he, has, he has that thing. Um, okay, um, we're sort of doing three different um, bills today. Um, the first one we're um, looking at is an act relating to the Older Vermonters Act and sort of having a committee discussion about that. Um, and I don't believe we have a new draft. No. Um, so um, I wanted us to have um, a discussion, and I do apologize, because I was not here the day that you did it. So. Um, if some of these things have, you know, been discussed or figured out before in terms of the discussion, but um, well, and then we had the the scan people, and then here. we had the scan people afterwards, yeah. and um, I really, um, I was I was struck by what they were saying in terms of. <clears throat> Set of putting putting in place this not the structure but the <clears throat> whatever to have a master plan that is not just Dale, you know that um, and you know I mean they, they were they were talking about um, how various states had done it and some through executive orders some through legislation um, and. <clears throat> So at minimum, I would like us to consider adding something like that, maybe looking to, I think she said, Cal, they yep. said California. California. California has an executive order, mm -hmm. um, but to translate that into a legislative <laughs> um, thing, Jen, <laughs> sorry. No, yeah, I've been reading through it. We'd be glad to work with our put some language, work with Jen, cool. some language yeah. together, and bring it back to the committee to take a look at what the scope of it would be. And we talked about even reaching out to uh, Dr. Uh, Lamantia from UVM, right. mm -hmm. trying to get some of his input on what that might look like from his perspective as the UVM mm -hmm. Center on Aging and the work they're doing. If we were to do something like that, and I can pull out my copy of of, of the bill. I'd almost, in terms of organization, how how the bill has your bill <clears throat> has some semi-broad pieces and then some very specific pieces. Mm -hmm. But like to start with the bait and then mm -hmm. sort of shuffle down in terms of what what we keep and what we don't and what people want to do. So sort of, you know at, at minimum reorganize. Mm -hmm. um, would be a thought that I would have. I don't know. Yeah. I'm looking to the to those folks. Um, <clears throat> Julie, do you have, or do, or do we need to look at it? Um, it's up there. It's up there. I mean, it's, it's on your page today. I pulled it over. Oh, thank you. Of course you did. Yeah. Because you did have a big discussion about mm -hmm. this. Okay. Everyone was here. It was right after that meeting. Okay. I just am looking it up right now. It was on uh, two thirteen. Yeah, I think we had some discussion okay. around the things that we thought we could include, like the gender issue yep, that's language. But then I think in the meantime, I think that Sandy did some research on that, and it's not in the green books. It's in oh. session law. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is that right, Sandy? Um, well, Act One in particular. There may be others, but but the thing that everybody. But the, every, the, about the thing that um, Brenda spoke of here when she gave testimony was uh, is in session law. So, um, you know how we accommodate that. I guess now is still mm -hmm. up in the air. Um, I think you know it, when you some talk of these principles might go in the master plan. Well, or I'll move it up or I, whatever. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I was just thinking about in terms of the thinking about um, 
I'm trying to figure out, uh, like uh, Dan, Dan looked up the executive order in California, and it's several pages long, and it you know, goes through a bunch of things, actually, some of which are included here, and then it lays out a specific process and specific and you know, much like we do in statute sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, specific organizations or individuals that need to be involved in the process and all of that kind of stuff. One of the things that I'm um, aware of is a, a little bit of um, uh, working group fatigue. <laughs> um, ha ha since most of the players have just finished work on this, um, this piece, and recognizing that this would be broader because we are talking right. about, um, you know, the rest of state government. And, and I mean, and some of the players who were very intimately involved in yours would probably be less intimately involved. Is that an animal? <laughs> <laughs> Cups. <laughs> Cups? Monks. Who are they from? Vermont Coalition. Oh, a fire. So we're all getting a cup? We're all getting a cup. Oh, nice. Uh, fire and rescue. Thank you. Thank you. Made in China. Who are you laughing? Yes. 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 I'll put my nappy up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're all the same. How are we going to know who's dummy yet? We put her in whatever. They're very heavy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. Uh, Julie? Yes. Would, would you like one? No. Okay, you can do it. Okay, tell us stuff. So, so in some respects, it seems like some of the, like this, uh, like what you were talking about, Madam Chair, about coming from the broad perspective to uh, the principles I think were intended to be a broad perspective, um, but certainly the information that we heard from SCAN is broader still, so would maybe elevate, and I think that those were the words that they continued to use, that this elevates this discussion uh, across all sectors of state government, mm -hmm. and which is important, so we might even see that before this principles mm -hmm. section. Um, I mean, I guess what I, one of the things I've heard from the committee over the years is, yes, many older Vermonters are vulnerable, to use that word, but, that, but assuming that everyone at a certain age is going to need help from Dale is um, a, one perpetuates a stereotype of mm -hmm. aging and does not, in fact, embrace what many of us around this table bring <laughs> to um, mm -hmm. to things. And so, are you thinking that? Um, we would lay out a specific process to to do that? Or are you thinking about that we would? OK. Well, to see it, see what that would look like, looking at what California and some other, right. I mean, California mm -hmm. is the one that they said. And they also said Connecticut. Why do I care? Is that another one? Mm -hmm. Civic engagement, volunteering, learning, and leadership. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And was it last year that the Vermont Chamber expressed some interest? Mm -hmm. um, no, it was uh, when we passed the Older Vermonters Working Group Bill. Yeah, they were. Okay. So, okay. yeah, two years. Yeah, like okay, two that, years ago. Last, yeah, yeah, two years ago. And last year they came into Older mm -hmm. Vermont Caucus and talked a lot about all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. Betsy did a nice job out right there. No. I mean, I guess my notes. What I got persuaded by was when I saw one the scan report early in, earlier in um, in December, and then looking at how we are as a body looking at climate and environmental issues, and they're not just focused on <coughs> one one sector or the ag committee, or you know, right? Yeah, it's not just you know one you know one sort of sector. Um, and 
So that's, that, I mean, but this is, I mean, and I thought I heard after Stan came in that there was an interest in the committee in sort of doing that. We did talk about that. That's what I have in my notes. It's older than when I worked for a variety of and, it, it's, and a present, yeah. it's a present. It's a present to bring home to your wife. Remember the mm -hmm. data sources were great. Yes. Transparency, visible, yes. cohesive platform. Multiple mm -hmm. priorities. Mm -hmm. um, it's also like the prevention of the building like last year. That too was broader than just one agency of human services. Okay. So after the principal, what happens in this bill? And has Sorry, I'm just looking for my notes. You know, so, um, and I guess I, we got some things from the department, but I was saying things would cost too much. No, okay. you didn't have the you didn't have the person power. We did, but I think that we have solved the majority right. of that. We have a lot. Of, we have some changes. Oh, you have changes. No, oh. we they're not up there, but we. Oh, there. okay, okay. So maybe um, to walk us through some of those, we have. <clears throat> yeah. To, so to, to, to engage us in discussion on that. Okay. Yeah. So um, one of the things that um, the department uh, and the AAAs, by um, uh, extension of the department, because they are the people on the community side that you know are referenced here, um, was they were concerned about reporting, um, and a lot of that came up in the APS section, and the intent of what we put out there. So, so, so you're ignoring statute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that there was a consent agreement of some sort. I think that we were being created. I think that the the court has the court. There was a court case involved that ended up in a settlement. And right. So right. what they right. report on is what's in the settlement. Okay. So we probably should change state law. Um, well, there, it's not in state law now. It expired. I don't remember when. 2016, maybe. Mm -hmm. was, is that right? There were time uh, limited. So it was time limited. Yeah, yeah. there was sets over time. Over time. It took so long. Oh. So, so we actually can start fresh, mm -hmm. and uh, we're suggesting that we start fresh with what's currently reported, which is quite. Um, comprehensive okay. in terms of that. So we're proposing that we substitute um, information that uh, Joan Nesbaum, Nussbaum? Nussbaum. Nussbaum, um sent to us um, about what APS is reporting on now. Um, so so that would be a that would be a suggestion. And those types of things are. Julie, do you remember if that got posted, Joe? I, oh, never mind. I can look by the witness. Mm -hmm. um, staff, this witnesses. Oh, I was not giving me links on them. Mm. Well, it just says his witnesses who testified. Oh, I, I've done. I found his testimony. Am I looking in the wrong place? And then he sent something to us afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, there it is. Oh, I see it. Do you know what day it's on? Yeah, it's, it's on the 13th. It's at the bottom of the 13th. It says reports. A younger public comment, go to witness. Written testimony. Vermont Adult Protective Service Annual Reports. <clears throat> APS annual report section someday. People have it. Logan has us covered. We're yeah, going to go for it. So I'm not going to get there to the paper. I'm going to do some of the best. He said the grid, too, though. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's what I feel. OK. Do you have the grid up? So yeah. Yeah. yeah, that. So this describes, this is what the witness sent over in terms of what is reported on an annual basis now. Um, and um, by, by category. Um, and Dan and I reviewed it. And uh, you know, from the perspective of what we were trying to accomplish here, um, we felt that it was, that this was OK. I don't know what the committee feels like, but this was something that 
th these data points are things that ended up being agreed upon in the court settlement. So the court settlement also involved the people who were suing, um, which was um, protection and advocacy um, and, and legal aid. Mm -hmm. um, so if they agreed to it then, uh, it's, I, I think might have an idea about how they want something to be different, but at least at one point in time, they all agree. Everybody agreed to this at one point in time. Um, can I just ask a timing question? And um, Jen, that might be for you. Can we write in statute about reporting before or after the agreement? Sure. Jennifer Kirby, Legislative Council. I'm not sure I understand the before or after the agreement. <laughs> okay, there there was a court case and there was a settlement. Yeah. I mean, the, it never, whatever that's called. You had a settlement. Did we write? A, did we put it in? Is that what you're asking? When we have we have some data reporting um, that that went away. Yes. And I'm just curious as to whether those data reporting markers were things that the legislature did. Subsequent to a lot of it was subsequent. There was some that I found when I was working on the 611 draft. There were some earlier reporting requirements. Um, I think that, that probably predated the settlement, but most of them were post settlement. Um, we passed one bill that got vetoed, and I think that was during the pendency of the Oh, lawsuit. yeah, and I think you did it, you actually did a new one after that. Um, <laughs> I mean, that said, if you and Dan, I mean, I haven't looked at this myself intimately. Um, if you and Dan are sort of okay with this and then we have legal aid and Vermont Protection and Advocacy come in to comment. Um, my question was more in terms of, okay, there was this settlement of which you have to do for the settlement. Then did we go, okay, that's good. And in addition, we want this. But if you're fine with what it is now. Um, so I'm not going to push anything. I mean, this is the measuring component in the bill is that, that you've taken information from this to say, here's the things we should check on. But it's that, all about that's we what did we're going to propose. No, that's what oh, we're proposing. Yeah, proposing. we're going to change okay. it to reflect what's here. To reflect what's here. And this is all about adult protective services. Mm -hmm. So, but the bill is broader than that. Are we yes. going to measure some other things of our overall to know if we're, what our success is like in the bigger picture, too? Um, or is that? Well, we might, and we might see if that's part of the California. Mm -hmm. oh. If we're using that as a model, okay. Okay. whether what that the means, but, because but you might be. Uh, so why so so um, you'd be looking at that? That in the California one. Okay. Does anybody it's remember? Because we said California, if we asked if we were to look at something, would we look at California? And they suggested another state. And I, was, I think it was, might have been Massachusetts. And, and for whatever reason, I can only find my December. And well, and I, I'm just looking for my notes, and I don't have mine either. I hope I have a desk cleanup file. Might be in there. <laughs> no, no laughing files. Um, um, so, uh, part of part of that, Jessica, is. The way I was thinking about it, at least, was the annual report from the department. That, so this is. Um, she found it. Well, I don't know whether I found what we're all looking for, but I did find my. Oh, your, the presentation. The presentation. That's where I have my notes. Yeah. Um, will you see if you can pull up the Dale annual report for 2019 off their webpage? Mm -hmm. Maybe some of those things are right there. Right? That, that's what this is what I this is the uh, some of the things that maybe you're thinking about um, and what we were thinking about in the reporting section of this bill okay um, okay. 
Yeah, you should be able to find it under documents, but you don't. You don't? This is, are, are you watching? I'm watching. So did you, did you search annual report, Dale oh, annual report? Is, yeah. The other way of looking at it, yeah. It's, well, if you try searching, it might not come up either, so. I think it actually does. Does it? I think so. <laughs> annual report 2019, right there. It's the yes, is that? Oh, no, no, Dale annual report. I was looking at those. Okay. So Dale does an annual report. They do a couple of, they do several reports on an annual basis, but one of the report is a, sort of the broader department report. There's a, a DS annual report that has more specific information and probably DR does, probably every division does their own version of that. Almost every Except department. for adult services, which is, I don't. They do, there's a choices for care. A choices for care. I, I think so. Maybe. So maybe if you could just scroll down through here so people get a sense of what's reported in this, uh, and then the lovely words from the commissioner. Um, They're lovely words. Thank you. Right. So uh, the, the um, division that we, the two divisions to look at here, the adult services division and the licensing and protection division. Um, the department it's overview the is facts and figures too, in the facts and figures section. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just the department overview. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Under facts and figures. So. Um, <coughs> demographic. Demographics. That does, like, kind of says who we are supposed to be serving and stuff like that. Maybe um, employment, if it was, we were able to employ more. Okay, so keep going. Thank you. Um, oh, well, I don't know. I'm looking around. Today. Population projections by age group. Keep going. Right. These are still all projections. Um, this talks about family caregivers. Um, again, by um, in, in different counties in Vermont. But it's essentially equating the value of family caregivers. Okay, keep going. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is for people um, to really take a look at the Dale Annual Report um, and uh, keep going. See what we're already collecting. See what's already being collected and if there are things and reported, and to see if there are things that um, people feel like need beefing up or need to be included. Um, well, I feel like there's not sufficient information in here about some of the aspects that we're looking at. Like, when, certainly if we're thinking on a broader mm -hmm. level. And some the of the car probably shouldn't just be for, or Dale's score chart should be infused in something else or some of the data. Is that what you're meaning? Um, I, I, the beginning parts of this report actually would be reflective of what we might think about in a um, the um, accountability broad, the, I, well, and in the broader scheme of things, like what does the universe look like? And and what um, are we already collect? So if I looked at California and said, okay, here are some of the things they're collecting, then look at the Dale report and see if they're collecting anything similar, right? Mm -hmm. Like that is that right. what you're yeah, okay. yeah, and which is sort of consistent. Um, I'm also, it's like, oh my God, this reminds me of the bill we just passed on Thursday and Friday about um, climate change, which is we've been okay. doing a lot, but we don't have um, it necessarily it's all put place. together. And I'm looking at the consultation overview. Vermont has developed multiple strategy and framing with key ingredients that could be woven into a master plan. Um, and I think there's there's some reluctance to use that terminology and phraseology. A master plan? Yeah. Because? Um, well, they're not, I don't have a reluctance about it. <laughs> so we, we will, I mean, you know, I mean, I think at some level right now, we're trying to um, let Jen know how she's going to spend her waking hours. Yes. And then, 
of which we'll get fewer and fewer. Um, and then we will give the department the ability to go, we hate that it says it's a master plan because we don't want to be in charge of the master plan. And I get that. <laughs> so maybe you're not in charge of the master plan. Put the executive office in charge. But then they don't want to not be in charge of it either. So, yeah. well, you know, this, so is, this is the rub. Well, OK. Uh, but no, that, I appreciate that clarification. <laughs> So Colorado calls it the Strategic Action Plan on Aging. And then Connecticut is the real choice for long-term services and support. So they have different names for them. What about Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> don't like those options. <laughs> they don't have any yeah. in there, but Washington Aging and Long-Term Support Administration Strategic Plan. The Minnesota one on the scan thing says it's MN2030 looking forward. Oh. Okay. Really? So no Minnes age? Minnesota 2030 looking forward. Huh. Yeah. No addressing, the, addressing the demographic challenge. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's kind of cool. uh, so if we if we sort of like uh, you know release ourselves from thinking about this as a particular with a particular name and just thinking right. about what it is that we want to achieve, exactly. I think that I, I, I think that we uh, I don't think you would find anybody you know sitting around the table or in any of the other chairs that we've had here who would disagree with putting all of these elements together in a broad scheme of things right. and involving the broader state government and thinking about you know how we build our roads and you know how we build our sidewalks and you know do we have um, you know uh, the kinds of public transportation that is accessible for people as as we are aging and um, you know, is the are the motor vehicle lines convenient for people who might not be able to stand as long as they used to be able to stand? You know that that all of those kinds of things, all of that framing, I don't think anybody would be opposed to that. How we convert all that into language um, is maybe thinking about that from the perspective of looking at these other states. It might mm -hmm. make it easier since yeah. we're in this. We kind of came to this piece of it at the 11th hour right. mm -hmm. um, and um, haven't spent as much time thinking about it. So boring on the work of other states who have spent more time thinking about it as we move the concept forward. And I think it, that's going back to what the folks from SCAN said, it, it, you know, raising and elevating this as part of the discussion in um, <coughs> across government <coughs> is really what the purpose of this is. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you mean you just referred transportation a bit, right. but it would mm -hmm. also be like economic development, right. like all of our offices of government, mm -hmm. essentially. I'm trying to think of the different ones. Absolutely. Maybe looking yeah. at how they accommodations. Uh, are looking at yeah. So um, it's kind of like ADA almost. <laughs> well, there's a, there's there's many components of that because ADA was intended to be broad reaching that we create accessible environments for everyone. And if you create accessible environments for everyone, then they're available also for people who have disabilities. And if we create, if we have planning that's um, accessible to people as they are aging, it will be good for everyone. Who did you, were you the one who said the si or somebody said about the sidewalks uh, oh, being, yeah. being wheelchair friendly and rolling a stroller? It's the and, same. And, and I, you know, this is probably off the charts, but. When you talk about public transportation, mm -hmm. I think children. Yeah. I mean, th 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 so it's the same. Right. right. It's something that would that would ser serve a cross a continuum of pop of yeah. population. Uh, right. Yeah. Now, of course, I mean, one of the, I mean, I mean, that's what they said. What is? I mean, they they spent a lot of pages saying mm -hmm. we have we we're on our we way. the state have you know have the elements <laughs> and are going forward and the things that are. Missing is what you're talking about, um, Teresa. You know, the lack of connection across state governments right. beyond In the, Dale. The beginning of the bill now already does essentially talk about what makes life better for older Vermonters. And so it does, it doesn't seem directed at the Agency of Human Services or Dale. It's really much broader than that. So I feel like we have done half the work already. 
Right. It just may be in terms of where it's centered. Yeah. I mean, because on some level, and Monica and Teresa tell me if I'm wrong, Dale is going to focus on vulnerable right. populations. The, the vulnerable, people who are older who are vulnerable, who are needing services and supports, who need or who are, someone is reporting, who need protection. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we are talking about. And we're talking, I mean, and so half of long-term care out of Dale is people who are Medicaid and Medicare, right? Medicaid. So, they, I mean, is that right? Th that is correct. Monica Hutt from the Department of Disabilities, Aging, and Independent Living. So, yes, and absolutely that, that vulnerable population is our focus. And as Representative Wood pointed out, we do have control issues and really do want to be in charge of how the state is thinking about celebrating and honoring and utilizing older Vermonters. I mean, I don't want to let go of that by any stretch. I just don't think I can be solely responsible yeah, for right. that. I right. Mean, and, no, you can't be. No. And, and, I, I mean, maybe I could if somebody gave me all the power. <laughs> I would give it a shot. You <laughs> next come in, we'll give you a, a magic wand. <laughs> and a tiara. And a tiara. Yeah. Um, because the, I mean, the other... Um, the other piece of feedback, which you can, we can choose to take or not to, to, I mean, is that now, you know, long-term care financing, uh, what well, we have maybe elements of it in terms of what you have said there, but the other, the other thing is that they say what's missing is a visible cohesive platform. I'm, I'm translating that in terms of computer technology and, uh, well, they actually said it wasn't. Oh, they, they said, said it wasn't. They said, okay. don't, don't think of this as a web portal. OK. Um, mm -hmm. That's right. They did. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, again, elevating the conversation. Well, right, elevating, yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess my question is, if, we're t if, we, ha if we sort of add elements of a a document to be named later, <laughs> um, and then we, um, we maybe can we go through some of the other changes that yes. you guys are suggesting? That would be helpful. So, just one quick other thing before you do that is that we did talk about population planning, regardless of socioeconomic status, which you just said, and one area that that is well is really happening in many areas of the state is the senior center piece because it doesn't matter if you're low income or high income or moderate income you still are welcome to go there and to do the things they're doing so it's kind of a cool sort of jumping off place mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. but anyhow. and there are seniors who don't go to senior centers because they're working or because they are taking mm -hmm. care of their grandchildren right. or because they are <laughs> or because they are like a former member of this committee mm -hmm. doing a three month, no, I don't think it was three months, tour mm -hmm. of Vietnam, India. <laughs> Bill Frank um, um, went on this huge thing and he skis every. <laughs> right. You know. So, I mean. Right. And all of them are different. Right. Just the, the one we have in Charlotte, which. Sheldon okay. uses, they have all these great bird watching programs that happen on the weekends, so mm -hmm. anybody can do it, and you don't have to be a senior, and what's amazing to me, and I went once just to check it out, because I was curious, there are people, you know, they're, well, what do you call a senior? Maybe if they're over 55, those were, it was more in that age group than in the older age group. Anyhow, I'm just saying. Okay. So, so, so can we, in the 20 minutes left that we have to talk about this for today, mm -hmm. you might go back to it, is go over the, the work that the two of you have done. Um, so there were a couple other today. things that, we have one section that um, we're not sure where it came from, from that's in there that we just want to take out and okay. I think that's um, a couple pages down. Sorry, Logan. I'm sorry. You know, can we go back? Can it's, uh, I'm looking at Teresa's notes because I think she crossed it out. Okay. Um, yeah, it was in rulemaking. Yes. There it is. Uh, so it's on, on page uh, 12. Page, 
Yeah, page 12, line 3. Right. Now, when we read it, we don't see it referencing a, something specific. I think it was left in from an earlier version of the description. Yeah. OK. So that's something that yep. was just Sorry, small. Circled on my it happens. <laughs> Um, so that's that is an amendment. So um, the other thing, like right where we're in this um, section, is um, we agree with the department um, around where the AP, uh, not where the APS is, where the rate setting stuff is. It might not have been the I think the department mentioned it, but rate setting also mentioned it. Um, which is uh, on page 16. Mm -hmm. um, there was some concern about um, section three that's referencing section 904, the rate setting statute. Mm -hmm. um, we, we added a B to that that says inflationary rate increases for providers and home and community services. Mm -hmm. um, you know, saying that rate setting would come up with a process to do that. Um, and then section four references inflation factor for home and community based services and payment rates. So there was some question about where in law, if we were going to keep these things, where that should be. And there was some concern about it being in the rate setting section. I felt like two weeks ago, something, some, a comment made sense to me, and now it's not making sense to me. So um, uh, in terms just so that we know what we're getting ourselves into, mm -hmm. we have this section in there, is that this will go to is to the next step, which is to the Senate, where um, so I'm just going to speak for myself now, not for any particular person or entity, but um, so I recognize when um, this when we put this section in there that this would be a section that would, you know, the rest of this is, you know, mostly, you know, kumbaya and everybody's agreeing to um, laudable principles and, you know, setting a policy for the state that says we value older Vermonters and what they bring to our communities. And the working group did a fabulous job in, in you know, enumerating that and really kind of putting down thoughts to paper and going through a process. and. Um, the um, part of what the purpose of this bill is, is to not only do that, but to recognize that we as a state have, as a policy, decided that the state will not run these services, that the state will contract with any variety of providers out there, and that by doing so, we have to recognize that there needs to be a process by which those costs are reviewed on a periodic basis somehow. We recognize that for nursing homes, which um, you know, in the scheme of long-term care and services and supports, the nursing homes are considered um, institutional care. Um, even though they're in our local communities, they're, they're defined as institutions. And the home and community-based services that happen in people's homes, essentially, or in you know uh, smaller settings, or in adult day facilities, or by home health agencies. Those those are all services and supports that have no method of having costs reviewed. Um, we saw in um, not to confuse things, but we saw in CIS. You know, the state is recognized, and, and the state, in fact, has said. Um, that rate setting is something that we want to be more predictable. I'm not sure, Madam Chair, if you were here for the rate setting. They, they actually made the argument for us in their um, goals and principles that the, the, um, the woman who's, I was very impressed with her, but I can't remember her name. Alicia Cooper. Thank you. 
um, when she was here, she laid out the things that uh, what they are trying to do at a state level, and they were exactly what we're trying to do in this bill. Um, and when questioned, I think it through the Appropriations Committee, um, but I hope it leaves here with it in it so that we can have that discussion. That's my. On some level, I way. think that we um, touched on that in our memo mm -hmm. to appropriations mm -hmm. when we made it broader. Because we, um, what we are doing here is saying, OK, we want this for this group. And next year, we'll say, OK, we want this for residential providers. and. Well, they're year, included we'll, in this group. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, no, we'll no, say it for no, one I, I for parent child. Kind of, I'm talking oh, you about a child. Mm -hmm. You are focused on aging. Mm -hmm. yes. And I'm saying there are other groups out there. There are other places in state government where state government is not providing. Correct. We are not providing services in three fourths of state government. What we are doing is we are contracting out mm -hmm. to community service providers, perhaps unlike many other states. I don't really know. I'm saying this. Um, the vast majority of these providers are nonprofits.